Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from MindfulMarketplace.com and in this really quick tutorial, I'm going to show you two really um, easy ways to use the TaskHive Marketplace theme to sell affiliate products. So if you are, uh, you know, if you're familiar with this theme, it's really good for processing on site transactions. So if you have lots of vendors, your own products, your own services, your own ebooks, your own uh, content courses, whatever it is that you can sell, you can sell with this theme. With the one caveat being, you can't sell by uh, default these external uh, products, or at least it's not set up to sell affiliate products. So if you're someone like myself who promotes a lot of affiliate products, this is not a good way of uh, doing that, or at least it doesn't appear to be at first blush. But there are some really cool hacks that you can use that I'm going to show you here. So uh, let's go to to adding a product. This is for those of you who want to, let's say, promote either your peers' products, your professional peers, or your niche neighbors, or your um, you know extended audience. You want to build this ecosystem of affiliate offers, but you don't want the hard sell of having to convince everyone to list their products on your platform where you're getting the money and you have to pay them. There's all of these sort of hurdles and trust uh, barriers that can be introduced, and it's just a harder thing to convince people to do rather than just having a site where you can say, hey, we can promote your current products on your site with an affiliate uh, you know, link. And of course, that gives you the added benefit of being able to, um, you know, to to sell them on affiliate marketing oriented, either consulting or uh, helping them set up their own affiliate marketing uh, campaigns using your affiliate links with the software that they're going to need to do that. Uh, you know, there's so many different ways of, of facilitating that sort of setup as an online agency or digital media brand. I've covered this, you know, ad infinitum elsewhere, so I'm not going to do it again here. So let's use an example. Let's say we're doing Podia, right? Podia is an LMS that I use for our Mindful Marketplace platform. You can see that live at partners.mindfulmarketplace.com. So this is a Podia affiliate offer. Okay, now to promote uh, Podia as, a, as an affiliate using the TaskHive theme, I would have to convince them of listing their software on my platform. Now, I happen to know Podia a little bit because I've used their software as a client for so many years, and I'm a, an affiliate for them that you know makes them a fair amount of money. So maybe that would be possible, but probably not. They still would balk at that. And I think for most of us, we're going to hit a closed door if we're trying to convince strangers to list their services on our sites where we're getting the you know the fees in advance and we're paying them later especially if it's a fee based uh, service you know like a or a service that has a fee and someone's doing a service and you're getting the money and they have to wait a couple weeks etc all right so the conventional workaround for this is going to your uh, product data tab in WooCommerce and just changing this to an external product so now all of a sudden you have these other options that 90% of people I found aren't even aware are there, right? So in this case, I'm going to enter the affiliate link. As you can see, I've used this so many times on other communities that it's already pre-filled. So this is my tracking link for Podia. And then I'm going to say you can try Podia here. And then I'm going to add a picture, let's say. We'll use that one again. This is a test site, so it's not, you know, these images are really irrelevant. Here's the short description. Now you can also link here too if you want. You get some extra conversions if you do that. All right, so let's scroll up a little bit. Let's change the price here. The right, and now I'm offering a free trial, or Podi is, and I'm referring my readers to that free trial. But it is, you know, after the trial period, 
expires, there is a cost. So we want to be honest about that and say, I think this is the lowest tier that Podia charges. You might want to tag this online LMS, etc. And again, all you're really doing here is creating a, a conventional WooCommerce product on your TaskHive marketplace and um, you're using the external product as a workaround so that now you can actually send folks right to Podia or whatever it is that you're promoting by dint of clicking on this link. So here's the image, here's the product short description with the link. As you can recall, we just did that. Here's the uh, longer description, here are the reviews, etc. Now the only problem with this, and if you click on this, it's going to go to Podia using my tracking link. Alright, so if someone signs up, by dint of clicking that link, I'm going to get paid a 30% commission forever until that person cancels their Podia account. Now, this is a simple workaround that works. The only problem with that is it doesn't attach to a vendor, right? So Podia is not a vendor on my site. So if you're looking, and again, this is a, um, you know, this is a uh, test site. It's a development site. It's not live. So you'll see a lot of messy sort of ideation here. But, you know, here are the categories. You're not going to find Podia because they're not a vendor. Right, so let's look at so let's look at the vendors real quick so you can see that. So you want you know you would want a platform like that to actually have their own listing on your site, if that was the you know if that was the approach that you were using. That's what this site is built to do: have folks list their products on your site, and you get a commission of each transaction. So. Let's do something else that I just actually uh, implemented tonight, and tonight is the 24th of January. I actually got this from the really generous developer, uh, I believe his name is Ehor, from HivePress, the plugin that powers all of his stuff, including uh, Task Hive. And um, I asked him a question about a month ago, how to implement this, and I just forgot to check back, and he actually gave me a workaround which really is uh, helpful. So I'm going to show it to you here and we're going to go to attributes and let me see listings listing attributes not vendor attributes you can do this for vendors as well and so what I did was I set up an external attribute for products right so let's quickly edit this. So now there's an external link that your users can add that is attached to their vendor profile. So they can have this entire robust suite of ebooks or services or coaching or whatever it is that you know that you're selling on your marketplace, and all of that can link to their you know, URL to their website, and you can get a commission on each transaction. So the salient pieces here are one, the attribute up top, I just capitalized that. That shouldn't make any change. Two, display in search form. Let's see, let's open this up too. Allow front end edit. Uh, allow front end editing. This essentially allows your users, your vendors to add this on the add a listing page. They'll have the option for this. You want to set the field type to URL, right? So the URL is actually where, you know, this is going to facilitate the click. Placeholder. We're going to skip. We're going to include this in display and search form. We're going to display as a sorting option. We're going to skip that field type. We're going to add primary uh, page as the option. We're going to add an icon, which I just did, you know, just for shits and giggles. I mean, there's no real, you know, just for aesthetics. Let's pick another one. All right. And then the format, this is the important piece where you set the link value. You're actually pasting in this code making this button, creating the style for the button, which is large, primary, and then visit 
link to learn more. This is actually the text that's going to be on the button that is going to generate uh, or that's going to show up, that's going to be visible on your vendor's product pages when in fact their uh, products are going to link to their own URLs. All right, so their own website. So let's see if we can't create something like that. We're going to go to listings. We're going to make a new listing. Okay, so this is a free ebook you can get from Joe. Grab Joe's ebook here. Again, you could link that if you want, but we're not going to do that for time sake here. We're going to mark this as verified, so there'll be a verified badge. Again, this is all done via task hives. Uh, code and CSS. We're going to make this listing featured. We're going to set the date. Actually, what's today? The 25th, I guess. And then we'll, you know, this is all completely optional. I'm just trying to dress this up a little bit. We're going to create some images. We're going to set a featured image. This is how it'll show up in the actual search results. We're going to set the price. We're going to say it's free. We're not going to select the file because this is what you would do if you were selling the product on your site. And here's where we're going to set the external URL. This is what we did by dint of adding that attribute, this optional external URL. So now this product that we're creating, right? we would of course have a lot more to say about it. Joe's a new partner on our platform, and we highly recommend his new ebook if you're in the business of X or Y or Z. All right, we're going to assign this to digital marketing as the category. I'm not going to like add a lot of tags and do all that sort of stuff because I just want to get through this. And now we're going to view the post. Now there's one twist to this that I need to fix, and I actually have to figure this out uh, before we can actually use this live and you'll see what that is in a second. Here is the free ebook. Here is the picture. Here's the text we added. Here's the profile. This is set to me. You can hire me here for $12 an hour. It's actually not true, but let's pretend that it is. You can click here. Visit the link to learn more. This is where we set that button. The price is zero, and if you click on this, it should go to CNN, which is the external URL that we actually set there that, of course, would be a tracking link in, in a live example that would go to um, you know, a vendor landing page on their side that you would get a commission on the transaction. All right, again, you can see it's assigned to a vendor, which we want. You can send a message. You can write a review. You can report the listing. This here is the only thing I got to figure out how to remove because we don't want two buttons, right? You want just this button here and everything else, and you want to remove this button because this button is going to try to facilitate the on-site checkout, which it will do, right? It's a zero price product. And if you added the ebook here, you know, on the back end for your vendor, it would facilitate the transaction here. But we don't want this button because it's going to be confusing, obviously. You don't want two buttons, one that one that goes to the URL and one that doesn't. This is a very trivial thing though to remove. If I was a little bit smarter when it came to code, um, I would you know, have done this already, but essentially you either have to hide this with CSS or there's going to be a code snippet that will remove this so that, you know, there's no buy now button, which will be done by tomorrow. I actually have already posted uh, that to the guy who does some of my WordPress, um, you know, coding, as well as to, uh, you know, I sent a message to Ehor, the guy behind, um, you know, the Task Hive and Hive Press. Uh, platform asking for the same, and I'm sure by the morning this button will be removed. So essentially, you're going to now have the ability to have, let's say, E in this case, which, which is me, right? But let's say the real, you know, in, in your live example, you would have 
this product is now listed on my profile, right? So on my vendor profile, I now have a free ebook that links to my URL, which in this case, again, is CNN, but you would have that go to wherever it is that Joe, in this case, Joe, your vendor, you know, wanted uh, to fulfill that transaction, whether that's a Gumroad link, a Podia link, his WooCommerce, his Shopify, his, um, you know, Squarespace site, it, you know, it doesn't matter, right? You can earn a commission through, um, you know, through this uh, process for all of your members. I'm really excited about this. I was before excited to be able to use the external product using WooCommerce uh, alone, but this adds a whole new, uh, you know, set of potentials and possibilities that you can really uh, scale this up very, very quickly because you're simply going to be asking folks who already have stuff published in the world to, you know, add their stuff, to, you know, to to their to your site. Now you can also do this without asking people. Right. I mean, you can go and add Amazon books and, you know, let's say my niche, which is a mindfulness based niche. You can add all the things that you want to add. Right. That don't require a an approval. Right. You can just add, you know, products from different vendors and services and, uh, you know, Amazon products and Gumroad products and, you know, other products that you like that you don't even have to put an affiliate link. Uh, you know, you don't have to attach an affiliate link if you're just trying to scale up this sort of site very quickly and you want people who come to the site for real to see that you have a lot of products, right? And you have a lot of vendors. You can just add stuff that's not, you know, that you don't really have a relationship with, with yet and you can later, you know, go to the, those people and say, hey, I love your meditation CD or your Amazon book and um, or your, you know, I, a webinar that I saw you do, and I've added a couple of your products to my site without any remunera remuneration for me. I'm just happy to promote you. But of course, if you have an affiliate program, uh, I'd be happy to sign up as an affiliate, you know, so that I can get compensated for more, uh, you know, aggressively promoting your products, your platform, your site, your services, etc. All right. So there you have it. This is a great way of using TaskHive as a marketplace, um, as an affiliate marketplace. And, um, you know, I'm really uh, excited about the ability uh, to be able to help my clients who want to use this sort of setup for themselves. Here's, you know, just the way this site looks, by the way. Uh, you know, if you haven't seen TaskHive yet, it's, you know, I've made some modifications uh, to the site, but, you know, this is pretty much what you're going to get. This is me, time has made some modifications on me. I, I lament the fact that I was much more handsome seven or eight years ago when this picture was taken. My father, strangely enough, is getting better looking with time. Unfortunately, uh, you know, things are moving in the opposite direction for me. Um, but yep, that's pretty much it. So if you're interested in, uh, you know, in doing this, TaskHive makes it easy. Uh, and I'm happy to help you if you uh, need some, you know, some extra uh, a nudge in the right direction. Okie doke. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a wonderful evening.